Apple just changed everything. Of course, they announced a lot of things, but in this video, I kind of want to focus on iPad OS 26 and highlight a few features that I personally think will increase productivity and really helps take the iPad from a cool paperweight in some cases to possibly a laptop replacement. So in this video, we're going to be talking about a lot of those features, when they will come out, and also what devices will get them. Let's start off with design. Apple has debuted a new design. Apple calls it liquid glass, which is translucent and kind of transforms based on what you're doing with the iPad. It can kind of reflect whatever's behind the apps and kind of get the apps out of the way while you're using the iPad. It gives the iPad a nice clean look and I think overall allows your personality to shine through. Now looks aside, let's move on to some of the things that really are gonna increase the productivity of the iPad. I think that the main thing that a lot of people are going to be going crazy over is windowed apps. And Apple has found a way to do windowed apps in a truer and more multitasky kind of way. You can finally run multiple apps and windows at once with the ability to resize app windows and put them exactly where you want them. This is very similar to what you can do on the Mac and is a feature that a lot of people have been begging for for years. This has a lot of important applications. I'm thinking back to my university days and I feel like I would have loved being able to have my notes app open while having Safari open for some references and maybe a video playing in the background. Essentially, the apps are now getting out of your way and allowing you to feel more in charge of the iPad while multitasking. You can snap apps into place with just a flick, view all windows all at once, and works with external displays. Now, going back to looking at the apps all at once, that is what Apple calls Expose, which is ported over from the Mac itself. It shows your open windows in a tiled format, making it easier to jump between your windows. And if any of the apps have long running tasks like exports, they'll continue to run in the background. So if you do edit videos in like Final Cut, for example, you can have your Final Cut window open and everything's gonna export in the back. That is pretty damn cool. Again, things like this really help bridge the gap between iPads and MacBooks. Next up, Apple announced a new and improved Files app. The new Files app has a list view with resizable columns and folders that you can collapse. You can also customize folders with color, drag folders into the dock and choose default apps for opening specific file types. Again, that's something that I think is really important for people that use the iPad for more than just browsing the web. Another little neat feature that Apple brought over is a menu bar. So I feel like a menu bar is probably one of the classic things needed in a computer, not so much an iPad, but I do like that it's there. It shows up in your active app and gives you a little bit of options that we're all used to, like file, edit, view, window, format, and help. Now, the next thing that iPadOS 26 will have is the preview app. And if you're somebody like me that looks over a lot of PDF documents, I've always found that it's a lot easier to fill out documents and review documents in general on a MacBook or a bigger screen. But now with iPadOS, it's gonna be a lot easier. Preview is being ported over into iPadOS 26 and allows you to view and edit PDF. You can also do some interesting stuff like using the Apple Pencil or your finger to mark up documents. And something I'm really grateful for is autofill, letting you fill out PDF forms natively. Again, this is really clutch and saves a lot of time for me when I'm reviewing documents. So what devices will support iPad OS 26? I have a list on the screen here, so you could go through and see if your device is on there. If you're not sure, you can also drop a comment down below and I'll be sure to respond to you. Now, the million dollar question is when will this be available? iPad OS 26 will be available today for developer beta accounts. They also said that a public beta will be released next month. Now for everyone else, the general public, we can expect this update to be released sometime in the fall and it's most likely gonna be tied to the iPhone 17 release in September. Anyways, I wanna wrap up my final thoughts. Something that I've been very vocal and critical about on iPad is that it can't really hold a flame to the MacBook. And that's because of little things that they really did that annoyed me on the OS side that really disabled this device. Now they're unlocking a few more features very slowly, but they're doing it. So we gotta give them some kudos here. And those features make it a lot easier to get things done without needing a Mac. Anyways, let me know what your thoughts are on the new WWDC 2025 announcements. Or if you have any questions in general, let me know down below in the comments. I'm responding to everybody. While you're there, give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.